Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Boy has it been a while. So the last time I posted a video was probably three weeks to maybe even a month ago. I can't believe it's been that long. That's probably been my longest time that I have been away from my channel. But I'm telling you guys, it was great, honestly, to take a little bit of a break. I was in a really bad YouTube funk. The last thing you guys saw was some of my Disney World vlogs. I actually didn't end up posting the remainder of my vlogs. I had about three more left, and I just decided not to post them. I actually deleted the footage uh, because I didn't want to be tempted with posting them. So that's going to wrap up that Disney content. But a lot has happened in these three weeks to a month. I probably will get into it. I don't even know if maybe in this video or maybe in my future videos, but a lot a lot has changed, a lot has happened, and I really took the time off to just kind of like regroup, refresh, try to come back stronger on my channel. So today is Thursday. I think today is the 14th. Um, yeah, Thursday the 14th of October. We're already in October. And I am on my way to the Bay Area because I do start a three-day trip. So I fly today, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I am working B position on this trip, which B is my bread and butter. I fly B a lot, so I'm in my comfort zone and I actually have not flown B position in a while. But to be honest, guys, I actually haven't really flown in a while. I think in the last month, maybe month and a half, I've only flown like two trips. But yeah, a lot has happened. To start off, guys, my camera, I just upgraded to the new iPhone uh, 13 Pro. So you guys know when I come on my trips, I don't actually bring a vlogging camera. I bring just my phone. So I'm actually filming on the cinematic or cinema, whatever. I think it's called cinematic. Um, hopefully it looks nice. It's crazy that it has the blurred out background because it looks very equivalent to my actual like Sony a6400 when I use my uh, Sigma lens, the 16 millimeter f1.4. It looks very, very similar. So let me know if you guys like this. This is my first time recording on my new phone and i love this phone now i did get the smaller size i did not buy the max i just bought the pro because the max was just getting way way too big for my hand <laughs> so yeah that's a change uh, my hair changed a little bit i'm starting to try to go light again i am lighting like lighting it up little by little and i'm in the parking lot in trader joe's because i just stocked up on some food for my trip i'm gonna start putting it in my lunch pail really quickly uh this is my favorite salad the crunchy slaw salad i did pick that up and i picked up a honey crisp organic apple which is gonna go in my bag which i do have peanut butter too i have my organic coconut smoothie see i don't even know if the cinematography cinematic whatever it's called i don't know if it's um what it's focusing on this is a trial one for me too guys um to see if it's focusing on what i wanted to focus on this is a vanilla almond spice chai it's new not new to trader joe's i've seen it before but it's new to me and i've always wanted to give it a try that's probably going to be one of my breakfasts i'm going to drink one of these uh right now which is really really good vitamin c i haven't had one in a while so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and drink one before this trip since i haven't been flying that much i've gotten this before the chicken tiki masala it's really easy to heat up on the airplanes um, in our ovens so that's one of my dinners and then the second one that I bought which I've never tried before is the chicken pot pie it looked really really interesting so that's kind of what I picked up I also have hard-boiled eggs a protein shake and I have some bananas so I pretty much set for the trip. I love bringing a lot of food with me on trips because I hate spending so much money on airports or like not knowing if I'm gonna have time to run and grab food. So I'm gonna start putting this inside of my lunch pail and then I'm gonna start heading up to the Bay Area. I'm still in Gilroy, California, which is actually now I'm in Morgan Hill, which is like, I'm gonna say maybe 45 minutes to the airport but I left with plenty of time today only because on my last trip I was cutting it so so short I felt like I wasn't gonna make it it was way too stressful for me and I never want to feel that stress again so yeah guys I really hope that you can follow me on this one my last two trips I did not vlog I it was the first time I have not vlogged a trip since I started my YouTube channel which was 
kind of refreshing in a way, but I'm really happy to be back and I hope you guys will watch this video. Please do give it a like if you like it. And I'm back guys. Thank you for allowing me to take my absence. So let's get going to SFO. Going downstairs to our curve room right now. So I did hear they decorated for Halloween and I just want to check it out to see it um, in person because it looks kind of cool. Wow. All right, I see us getting into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> guys so we did make it to seattle surprise surprise i feel like we're always here i was able to get off and use the restroom which was awesome it's always nice to like you know not go in these porter potties we are going to be boarding soon we have an hour and 20 minute flight to sacramento so i am totally ready to like hit my layover already i am kind of tired guys i haven't flown in a while so i'm out of the rhythm of flying but they're long days we are going to be boarding soon so i'm ready to get going and get to my layover um we had quite a crazy boarding on my last flight but got through the flight took forever i felt my last flight was like really really long even though it technically was not me and the guy in the back were joking like why does it feel like a transcon even though it was just san francisco seattle anyways but i am a little mia because i've actually been watching the game in between like when i can and stuff like that the baseball game so we'll see the outcome it's been like i mean it's 1-1 one, one. we're literally going into the ninth inning so we'll see hi guys so we finally made it to our layover again we are here in sacramento uh, sacramento and um yeah it was actually a good day one it was long we have two uh had two flights two flights usually is pretty long by the time you like you board and you like to plane it usually takes you know 30 minutes to 40 minutes to board 30 minutes to 40 minutes to plane and then we kind of sat on taxis for a little bit but we are here now my only critique for the day since i haven't flown in a while is my feet hurt and i wear naturalizers so these are the shoes that i wear um they're like very baby heel they have like the square toe they're naturalizers and they're super comfortable but because I haven't, and I don't switch shoes anymore. I don't even wear like airplane shoes. Like these are like my concourse heels. And then I have like airplane shoes. I don't switch anymore. I specifically just wear one pair of shoe now and they hurt a lot. So that shows you that I have not worked in a while and I haven't worn a heel in a while. And this is like, I'm like a, like a loser of a girl if I can't wear a heel like this my feet were hurting <laughs> so I'm ready to kick off my shoes take off my uniform call it a night I'm gonna drink some of my boxed water and then just shower head to bed side note guys why don't bananas last on airplanes look at these bananas they look so sad like they weren't like the best bananas this morning but they were not this brown at all like they weren't brown at all for some reason like flying and bananas just don't work so this was going to be my breakfast for the next couple of days. And now I just feel like I don't even think they're going to make it past tomorrow. So I don't know. I just don't understand. What does flying have to do with bananas? Anyways, guys, I'm not going to ramble very, very much right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night for now. Hey guys, so good morning. Um, I'm currently getting ready right now in my hotel room 
My hair is already done. I kind of curled it. I just pinned it back right now um, as I'm doing my makeup. I actually really enjoy this part of my mornings because, um, you know, I usually spend about an hour, like 30 minutes on hair, 30 minutes on makeup. I know sometimes that may seem like super excessive, but it's kind of like my me time, my peace time in the morning. Um, so I'm just getting ready for my day. Um, I slept really, really well, but like I said, I'm totally out of the swing of like flying right now where I wish I could just be a little bit lazy, but now I have to get up and work. Like I keep telling myself, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. It was really cold last night. Um, you know, like the times are changing, we're getting into fall, but a lot of these hotels still have the rooms set at like 68 degrees. So when you walk in, it's freezing. The good thing is that the ACE, I'm um, sorry, the heater worked really, really well where I was able to like turn it up and it got like the heat, I could feel the heat and it was felt great. All last night I was able to have like a really nice heater. So that was awesome. However, uh, after I like showered and stuff, I started getting really hot. So I actually had to turn it down right now because you know, when you're getting ready, you're just moving a lot. So I was getting really, really hot. So right now I turned it down to finish um, getting ready. I am watching a couple of shows on Disney Plus right now. Um, you guys know I'm a huge Disney fan. That's like my greatest passion right there. I was actually telling Andrew yesterday that I would love to work for the Disney company um, in like corporate. I just gotta like figure out what, you know? Cause I'm not really like, I, I can't be an Imagineer. I don't have imagination. I'm not an animator. I'm not a drawer. I'm not anything like that, but something i want to figure out something because that is like my true passion which i would love to do like long term like i use flying to my advantage flying can open a lot of opportunities but long term i would love to work for the disney studios doing something not like a ride operator not that there's anything wrong with that i'm sure it's super fun but i'm looking for like a career and maybe something that could be um, like corporate Disney or something like Josh De Amaro. Um, I'll write his title right here. I can't even think of it at the top of my head. Vice President or President of like Park Entertainment or Park Attractions or whatever, Park Experiences. But I think his job is like so ideal, which I would absolutely love to do that. Um, so I'm just trying to see how could I like, you know, venture in that field if it's even possible for me. But anyway, um, I'm watching these two shows on Disney Plus, and one of them is uh, One Day at Disney, which is, ugh, love it. It's like an hour and something long. The other one was a National Geographic um, on the animals at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and it's actually a series. It had eight episodes, and I, I had just finished it yesterday. I highly recommend you guys watching that. If you like animals and you like Disney, you're gonna love it because when you go to the Disney Animal Kingdom Park in Florida, you're gonna know those animals. And now I wanna go back just so I could like, now that I know their names and I know a little bit about their health and their history, like, and you get to see behind the scenes of the zookeepers and how they handle them and stuff. Anyway, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, so now I'm watching One Day at Disney. I'm going to continue watching it. I have about 30 to 40 minutes left watching it. And I'm going to watch that until I have to go to van time, which is at one o'clock. So today is actually a long day. We go back up to Seattle and then we go to um, Dallas, but we have like a super empty flight going to Dallas. So I'm so excited because everything has been full, 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 um, you know, since people started flying again. So it's kind of nice to get a little bit of a breather. We were full all day yesterday. We're full going up to Seattle. So going down to Dallas, I'm like excited to get a little bit of a break. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready here and then we're going to get head downstairs for van time. Hey guys, so we are here on the plane already. I'm actually outside. They opened up the back door for us. The plane is behind me. And I'm just standing here waiting. It's a beautiful day. It's very, very sunny. I have the tail behind me and they're gonna start boarding soon, but we still have cleaners on board. So they have to finish cleaning and then, you know, take off these uh, stairs, uh, air stairs, jetway stairs, whatever they're called. And then we're gonna start boarding soon, uh, heading up to Seattle. Yeah, it's a pretty day. It's super sunny, but there's a little bit of a wind blow, uh, blowing. So yeah, ready to go, ready to get the day started, get flying. Hi guys, so we are here in Seattle. We did sit for a little under two hours. I tried to close my eyes a little bit just cause I feel so like, I slept really, really good, but I feel like I slept so hard that I feel a little groggy. 
But anyways, we are on the plane to Dallas. We have a three hour and 15 minute flight time, which is actually pretty good for Dallas. We have cleaners on board right now because the airplane hasn't been clean since the last flight. Um, but I am gonna sit down and eat my honey crisp apple. And then I do have um, these almond butter packs. These are from Target. So I'm gonna eat just uh, apple and peanut butter. And it actually sounds really refreshing. I really want something like refreshing or something sweet or I don't know. This is gonna hit the spot though because my mouth's already watering. So yeah, just ready to get going to Dallas because I just wanna be behind closed doors in my hotel room already. Hello guys, so we finally made it to this hotel. So this is actually a new hotel for us here in um, Dallas. Uh, we flew into DFW this time, not Dallas Love. I think we still fly into both airports. And um, guys, it's a really, really nice hotel. I'm actually really excited to be here. I know in the van we were like complaining because it felt so far, which it is. It's like downtown and it's like a 30 minute drive. But once you get here, the hotel is very, very nice. It's um, it's very swanky, it's very modern, it's very Texas. A lot of the like furniture and stuff is very cowboy, it's very like howdy, like it, it's, it's cute and it's cool. So I'm gonna enjoy my stay here. I do have the double beds, you guys can tell in the back. I wish we just had longer. Um, we technically have like 14 and 14 hours and 20 minutes, which is like great for sleep, but to be able to do anything else, it's not. And then it's a Friday night. Right now it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Everyone is out right now partying and having fun where we have to go to bed. <laughs> so we might have um, breakfast or brunch in the morning with my crew. I'm not really sure. I think we get a percentage off here for breakfast, but I'm not 100% sure I have to find out. So um, it was a good day overall. It was kind of, it didn't feel actually that long. I was expecting it to feel a lot longer than it actually was. And it was a really good day. And I have a really good crew. And lately I've been very thankful and blessed to have really good crews. Like I used to dread a bad crew, but lately I've had great crews like in the matter of like the last two years. I don't think I've encountered actually a bad crew in a really long time. So um, knock on wood, I hope that stays and I don't get bad crews in the future. I think just earlier, like the first half of the day, I was kind of dragging because I slept so hard last night. You guys know when you're in such a deep sleep, you feel very groggy the next day. And that's exactly how I felt at least the first half of the day. I was worried that it was gonna get worse as the day went on, like I was gonna feel more tired. But for some reason I was able to like, you know, pick it up and have <laughs> what am I doing and have more um, energy so I was like very very tired and I'm still very tired I just hope I have a way better sleep tonight like I slept good last night but I slept so deep and so hard I guess I was just so tired so I just pray that I have a lot better of a sleep tonight than I did um, last night in terms of like not sleeping too deep so guys I'll say good night to you and um, we'll see you tomorrow
Hi guys, so I am finally back in my car. It's 8.42 p.m. in San Francisco. I'm actually gonna take off my contact lenses really quick because at night it's really hard to drive with contact lenses on only because for some reason the headlights, they get all like blurred out. So I do not like driving with contacts at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. This is going to look really weird <laughs> when I poke my eye, so don't get all worried. Um, but, ooh, I don't want that on me because that's hydrogen peroxide. Okay. But I had a really good trip, guys. Um, it was good to kind of come back. It was good to kind of be gone for a little bit on my trip. And I flew with a really good guy in the back. Like, I mean, we've known each other for so long because we both have been based here in SFO and we've flown together. And he's a really cool guy and I actually really enjoyed flying with him this time. Today was a good day. It, it, was, uh, it felt a little long because the flight back from Portland was, or I'm sorry, from Dallas to Portland was really long. And um, then the deadhead, we waited a little bit for the deadhead, but it's over with another trip in the books. I thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to do um, some other stuff coming up on my channel. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm trying not to be absent for so long, but it was really, really nice to have some time off. Again, maybe I'll explain more of my life in future videos, um, of my absence and everything else, but guys, I'm fine and I'm glad to be back flying. Um, right now, I'm just really wanna go get a coffee. I'm gonna go get a pumpkin spice latte with coconut milk. Guys, you need to try a pumpkin spice latte with coconut milk. It's really, really good. Hot because it's starting to get, I mean, it's kind of cold here. I can't even reach my seatbelt. It's kind of cold here in the Bay Area. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a pumpkin spice latte for my drive and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.